Ball second. Offense, number 69. What they didn't take into account is that American blackness is an ever-changing, ever-adapting, ever-modifying, well-thought-out, well-executed discipline. It's kind of like in 1972 when everybody was practicing karate. Now it's more like mixed martial arts. Fat Hoto, Derek Cologne didn't update their style. They're still practicing karate. So Derek Cologne, Dr. Rent Free has made a 1 minute and 37 second video hating, hating, and more hatred. About who? Comes to hip -hop. Mike Revolt, check up. One, two, check up. What comes to mind with regard to the history? Did my dude just take it to Daz Effects? History of hip hop. For me, it's gotta be New York City. Yes, the concrete jungle. But there are so many myths surrounding the history of hip hop. Now there's a film that plans to dispel all of those myths. It's dubbed none other than Microphone Check, the hidden history of hip-hop. Here to tell us all about it happens to be a hip-hop historian, Mr. Tyreek Nasheed, joining us right here on the Fox 5 Live Zone. Good to see you, sir, and welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Uh, I, guess, I gotta tell you, this is just so cool. I guess full disclosure, this film was actually unveiled right here in the nation's capital. I think late last week, I saw the headline and said, you know what? You know, let me scratch it real quick. Stop the record <laughs> and have you come on the show to tell us all about it. For, for folks that are really learning about the, the history of hip hop for the first time, what does this film really entail? This film really talks about the humanizing of the pioneers of hip hop. Anytime people talk about hip hop and hip hop history, they talk about things in a very vague and abstract way. They'll just say, well, hip hop came from the Bronx, which it did come from the Bronx, but who did it come from? Who were the people? And that's what I'm screaming. That's what I've been screaming. Let's keep going. What made them create this culture? What was their background? And we wanted to get into to that in the film. We wanted to talk about the upbringing of the people, how they migrated in their family. What inspired them to start taking two records and scratching them back and forth. Yeah. So yeah, we wanted to get into the um, sociology of So this was a clip from an interview that Tariq Nashi did on PIX11 in New York. And I wanted to point out something very important here. Let's take a listen, hit that thumbs up. So a lot of people appreciate that aspect. Now, I'm going to push back ever so slightly. Mm -hmm. I am born and bred in the Bronx, mm -hmm. and I know full well mm -hmm. hip-hop was born in the Bronx. Yes, it was. You're, you're going even further back right. from Sedgwick right. to where? What we're doing is saying where the seeds and the roots came from. Okay. Because a lot of the people in the Bronx, they came and migrated from the South after World War II. Mm -hmm. So they brought a lot of the um, soul rhythms with them. Um, the baby boomers, um, which are the parents of Generation X, they bought a lot of records in the 1960s and 70s. That was a big staple mm -hmm. in um, black American households. Mm -hmm. So the kids would go through these records and find the breaks, and we had people rap on records in the 60s so a lot of the seeds were coming from the south and it was flowered in the bronx so we talk about the origin story of everything and where people got these so you heard what she said there i know she wanted to say i know damn well but she didn't want to curse so a lot of the non-black bronx the, the non-fba bronx are having a hard time with the truth why because they've been skating for decades upon decades riding on the coattails of black Americans. This is what they did in the countries where they come from. Name the country, it doesn't matter. They're all anti-black. Hit that thumbs up. This is what they did when they got to the Bronx. They don't expect black people to fight back. They don't expect black people to push back. They don't expect black people to understand that they are an enemy. Hit that thumbs up. Now, you have a lot of racially ambiguous people walking around the Bronx like these two women. I'm not saying that they're anti-black, but I'm saying that when they say Bronx, they are co-opting the culture that black people started. And that's going to come to an end. That has come to an end with microphone check. There is documented proof by way of eyewitness testimony by the real pioneers. By way of recorded videographic and audiographic evidence yeah. that hip hop was not ODP. birthed by the Bronx, it was birthed yeah. by the F B A Bronx. Yeah.
never stop it. Now about this on the top. One minute and 37 minute video of whining, kissing, and moaning that Dr. Cologne has put out. He is now done exactly what I thought would happen. This is why I use the language that I use on my channel, not because I hate anybody, but because I know these people. I know how to play the New York Latino like a piano. Certain trigger words will make them reveal who they really are. That is nothing but a bunch of want to be white supremacists, scum, bad. Hit that thumbs up. So now he's trying to act like he's some type of an aficionado, like he has his facts wrong, whatever, whatever, whatever. Hey, Dr. Columbus, crazy, the fact. Show me some recorded videographic or audiographic evidence of anybody besides FBA rapping and you might actually have a shot at engaging in an argument with us. This is Raw. Says TV. Get them thumbs up. Not lemon pepper loo. Still I make it rain like doing curls in DC. I'm getting capital gains. Know thyself and the enemy is no concern. I yearn for my turn. Let the rubber meet the road. I love to feel the burn. Pass the bag. No, we ain't standing for the flag. To the pigs is independent. Reparations are passed. No fame, no shame. I started late in the game. So call this a must win. Making franchise money with a dollar store pin. No lights, I trained in the midnight The shadow, the pad, the combination, the jab My position is pole, don't even try to pass Try to check a flag, give me my flowers at last I said the pain, the strife, I said the rank, the strife Dominance is achieved through daily dedication Losing is the disease, success, the medication Grind hard because time running late Hard because time running late Execution. Yeah.